Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of my video blog where I talk about Azure, data services, and a little bit of personal development. Today we're going to discuss whether you should be using Azure Data Factory or Azure Synapse Workspaces for your data orchestration and processing needs. For starters, I have to put the caveat out there that as of this recording, Synapse Workspaces is a public preview service, and of course, features can change before the service actually goes generally available. In fact, I expect that additional features will be made available as the product goes to GA, and as with anything else on Azure, the product will be enhanced over time. So digging in, many of the decision points you'll face when deciding on ADF or Synapse is the right path will come down to what your bigger picture goals are. Now, of course, I know that none of us can tell the future, but there are certainly times when we have well-defined objectives and this should serve as a basis for which service we'll choose. Simply put, the data orchestration and processing capabilities in Synapse workspaces are the ADF capabilities ported over. <clears throat> now, there are certainly some differentiating features within the ADF portal due to the nature of being developed and created over the past three years. And it isn't yet clear how immediate some of the current gaps will be filled with workspaces, but I do expect that they will be eventually with many sooner than later. When you do a side-by-side -side comparison, a couple of the big features missing from workspaces that are available in ADF are things like integration with GitHub and Azure DevOps and the ability to have CI CD pipelines. Also, you'll note that things like pre-built templates, the ability to push to log analytics and exporting and importing ARM templates are all missing. Now, it's my understanding that as we move to GA, many of these features will be ported into workspaces, and there will also be an ability to more easily migrate ADF jobs into workspaces. But if these features are required for your current workload, you'll want to keep an eye on the announcements this fall when the product is expected to go GA to see what actually gets released. However, if they are required, you'll likely want to start with ADF and then import the ADF jobs when the required features are supported, if that's what you decide to do. Now, another couple reasons you'll likely want to use Data Factory is if you know you won't need some of the other Synapse features. With the release of, of, of Azure Synapse Analytics and the subsequent rebranding of Azure SQL Data Warehouse to SQL Data Pools, a feature of Synapse, you'll get various options for downstream compute, including SQL and Spark clusters. Also, combined with the capabilities of Cosmos DB, you now get the ability to have query compute on demand with Synapse Link. Now, I don't wanna to go too far into features, but there are plenty more, so feel free to reach out or do some searching and take a look for yourself. Now, a couple of scenarios where I think a new Synapse workspace might just be a little overkill um, would be like where you only want to do a simple copy operation and take data from one place to another, say like a data lake from one ADLS to another ADLS, or um, say you wanna pull data from a SaaS product like say Salesforce, put it into a data lake, and then manipulate and visualize that data with Power BI. A lot of the time, it's going to be dictated by the work that needs to be accomplished, leading back to my original statement about what the future holds. All we can do is plan for what we know and make adjustments as changes arise. Now, Synapse Workspaces is an awesome service that brings everything into one interface so you can manage your data sources and syncs, compute clusters, development queries and notebooks, pipelines and transformation, reports, triggers and monitoring, but it might just be more than you need. So be sure to choose wisely. Thanks so much for watching and all of the great support. If you have any questions or comments about this topic or any other topic, put them below or reach out to me. Please like this video, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my channel as every little bit helps. Otherwise, have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.